Hello learners. Did you know about the brachial artery? So keep an eye out and learn about. The brachial artery is the extension of the axillary artery. It is the major artery of the upper extremity. It ends at the cubital fossa. From there, it divides into the ulnar and radial arteries of forearm. In this article we shall look at the anatomy of the brachial artery. Course of the brachial artery The brachial artery begins at the lower border of the teres major muscle. It runs along the ventral surface of the arm, and parallel to the median nerve, which is the main nerve for forearm. It also gives rise to multiple smaller branches, before reaching the cubital fossa. Once the brachial artery reaches the cubital fossa, it divides into its terminal branches, the radial and ulnar arteries of the forearm. Branches of the brachial artery The brachial artery contains several branches. From top to bottom, they include Profunda brachii artery, also called the deep brachial artery. This is the first branch of the brachial artery. It supplies blood to parts of humerus bone, deltoid muscle and triceps muscle. It runs alongside the radial nerve, and it terminates into anterior and posterior descending branches. Superior ulnar collateral artery, the second branch of the brachial artery. It supplies blood to triceps and part of elbow and elbow joint. It runs alongside the ulnar nerve near the elbow. Inferior ulnar collateral artery. The third branch of the brachial artery starts near the bottom of your humerus. It helps supply the biceps and brachialis muscles. There are two terminal branches of the brachial artery. Ulnar artery. The ulnar artery originates in the cubital fossa and runs distally between the second and third layers of the forearm flexor muscles. It provides vascular supply to the ulnar aspect of the flexor compartment. Radial artery. The radial artery originates in the cubital fossa, along with the ulnar artery, at the bifurcation of the brachial artery. It courses under the brachioradialis muscle, running laterally to the flexor carpi radialis muscle. This course, serves as the linear boundary between the flexor and extensor compartments of the forearm. Relations to the brachial artery Anterior relation Anteriorly, in the middle of the arm, it is crossed by the median nerve, from the lateral to the medial side. And in front of the elbow, it is covered by the bicipital aponeurosis. Posterior relation Posteriorly it is related to triceps brachii, radial nerve and profunda brachii artery. Medial relation. Medially, in the upper part, it is related to ulnar nerve and basilic vein, and in the lower part to the median nerve. Lateral relation. Laterally it is related to the coricobrachialis, biceps brachii and median nerve in its upper part. And to the tendon of biceps brachii at the elbow. Anastomosis around the elbow joint. Anastomosis link the brachial artery with the upper ends of the radial and ulnar arteries. They supply the ligaments and bones of the joint. The anastomoses can be subdivided into the following parts. In front of the lateral epicondyl of the humerus, the anterior descending branch of the profunda brachii, anastomosis with the radial recurrent branch of the radial artery. Behind the lateral epicondyl of the humerus, the posterior descending branch of the profunda brachii artery anastomoses with the interosseous recurrent branch of the posterior interosseous artery of ulnar artery. In front of the medial epicondyl of the humerus, the inferior ulnar collateral branch of the brachial artery, anastomosis with the anterior ulnar recurrent branch of the ulnar artery. Behind the medial epicondyl of the humerus, the superior ulnar collateral branch of the brachial artery anastomosis with the posterior ulnar recurrent branch of the ulnar artery.